Hey guys, so in this video I wanted to share four new CLI tools that I discovered recently and they've been really useful uh, in my workflow. So the first one I want to share about is called FX, which is this one here. And this is essentially a tool that you can use to visualize JSON uh, in your terminal. It has so many features, but uh, really the best thing about it is the ability to visualize very large JSON files in your terminal and to navigate that super quickly. Some of the things you can do uh, with it, other than just opening up simple JSON files, um, you can actually kind of uh, trigger some sort of a code on it, like JavaScript, and do some manipulation on the, on the JSON files itself. Uh, it accepts streaming, and as you can see here, we have like mapping and then joining stuff like that. So here's a quick demo. If I paste this line, you see it just prints Hello World. And let's pick up, for example, this one here, which will process this JSON file or JSON text, and then it will uh, join it as like a string. Now, in this directory, I have a couple of dummy files. So let's look up fx random.json. And here you see how this looks like. Essentially, uh, you can navigate and kind of vim motion type of thing. So I control D go down, control U go up. And if you press a uh, question mark, you see all the stuff you can do. So for example, if I press um, capital H, it will hide everything or like collapse everything. And E will open up all of them as well. It's super useful. And I found it very um, helpful whenever I have a very large JSON file I'm working with. And it's really fast. So if you're used to like opening up some of those files and send things like sublime text or vim or whatever, this is actually way faster. Some other things you can do with it. Here's some examples. So you can actually manipulate some of the kind of the JSON you're working with. So for example, let's take this one here and paste it. So it's mapping over some sort of adjacent thing and it's going to give us the title alone. So here you see you have a, an array of just the titles. And yeah, that's just a little thing you can do with it. There's so many other stuff and I encourage you to look up the documentation. The next tool is called Otree and this is similar to FX, but this one is kind of, you can visualize these things in a table. So it can be useful in certain cases. So I'll show you an example. Uh, you can install this using Cargo. It's a Rust um, tool. So here we go. So we have these files as well. So let's say O3 and then say random JSON. Here you see how we can see these things now. It's just a table. You can open up things and see different values. I can see myself using this in, in certain use cases. But to be honest, I found myself using FX way more than this one. Um, you can also open up uh, TAML files. So if I do cargo.taml, you can see that as well here. Now, the third tool I want to share about is called Tab View. And this one is uh, yet another CLI tool built with Rust. And this one is used to visualize CSV files and TSV. I have no idea what TSV is, but essentially CSV files. And you can do some sort of like uh, searching and filtering and things like that on it. So let's try it out. I have a dummy um, CSV file here. So it's TW and then say dummy. And as you can see, it just shows you the CSV file in a nice stable format. And you can also navigate it using Control D and Control U and some sort of um, Vim motion thing. It's very cool. So these three tools, I've been using these things a lot recently because I'm working on some projects that requires a lot of some files like this. I've found that these were super useful. And it's really, really fast, like better than any other kind of UI tool that you might use, like a GUI thing. Now, the fourth tool is different. It's a, it's a kind of a search and replace tool, similar to the VS Code one, if you're familiar with that. So if you see that quick video here, you probably remember this interface from VS Code. It's the same exact thing, essentially, but in your terminal. It's also, you can install it using Cargo as well. So, and to trigger it, you can say project root and dot. So essentially I'm searching within uh, this directory. Now, I know that if you go back here 
and if we say O3 for example, go to random, here you see we have like this GUID, right? So let's try to search for that. So GUID, press enter, here you see you have all the GUID kind of key values that you were able to find, hit tab here, and let's say we want to change it to UID, it shows you like a live preview for what's going on, and then tab again to go to the result list, hit enter, now in the preview mode, and if you press Control O, it will ask you if you want to change all those, so you can press continue, and you see it changed everything for you. Open up the file again and see if we can see this changed. As you can see, it's now UID. Cool. A um, few things about these uh, tools. So the FX one, uh, my friend Josh actually uh, shared it with me, which is amazing. Um, by the way, you should follow him. He has some great content on Tmux and NuVim. Just all around a great guy. And the other three tools, actually, Serpol and TabView and Otree, this person shared it with me. I think you say his name is Oren or something. He actually built this Rust framework, which is this one, that is used to build DUIs. He shares a lot of tools, um, kind of CLI tools that were built with this library, so I also encourage you to follow him if you want to learn about more CLI tools. All right, guys, so that's everything I wanted to share. A couple new tools that I've discovered recently that I've been really enjoying, and hope you found this video useful. See you in the next time.